This is a Microsoft Surface Laptop Go, and I honestly wasn't thinking about buying this, but I've been looking for a Windows laptop for a while, and I love the Surface Go. But the problem with the Surface Go is I think it's a little bit too expensive for what it is, and it just doesn't have the right performance to justify that price. So I've been looking for a while, and I finally saw this in the store. You know, there's been a very big marketing push uh, for the laptop, uh, the Surface Laptop Go, for a little bit. You know, there's ads on TV nonstop. So I, I saw this in person and I was very impressed with the build quality. And then over uh, Black Friday, the Thanksgiving weekend, I saw that this actually went on sale. So if you bought the most expensive model, the uh, the 256 gig, 8 gig RAM option with an iFi, you actually got uh, 150 bucks off. So that made this effectively $750, which I think is a... I, I know people will complain that it's maybe overpriced, but I think that given the build quality and the Microsoft branding, it could potentially be worth it. So uh, box is pretty standard Microsoft. Uh, they do have a pull tab now, which is cool. Uh, nice to see them go the way of Apple with that. So pull tab right here. I'm just gonna pull on this and uh, the plastic just tears off neatly as you guys can see. And I'll just uh, rip it from there and we'll get into the box. So there are three tiers to this. Uh, it, it does start at $550, but the $550 option is honestly um, a bad deal. It, it, you only get uh, 64 gigs of storage and four gigs of RAM, which is not enough at all, especially for a Windows laptop. That's barely enough for a uh, smartphone let alone a full-sized computer. So uh, let's lift up the box. And there is a middle tier as well, uh, which I'll talk about in a quick second. So uh, computer right at top and center. I got the platinum finish, so it's a silver finish. Let me lift this out of here. Really nice, it's nice heft to it. Put to the side. What else do you get in the box? So I believe this is probably the uh, smart connecting charger. So there's a power cable got a neat little cube there that's a nice touch something else on the other side let's open it up okay it's a mini power adapter slides right out cool okay uh, so here we go it's the surface smart connector uh, which is kind of uh, awesome it's a magnetic charger that um, kind of goes back to the MagSafe days from Apple right you have a specialized connector that uh, you can magnetically attach to your computer to use for charging, which is fantastic. I uh, really love this. And then the last thing left in the box is this little thing here, which is probably just paperwork, which exactly is that is it. Surface Go, that's it, nothing. So quick start, cool. I'm gonna put this all to the side really quick. Let's take a closer look at the laptop. So right here, we've got the laptop. And as I was saying before, this is, there are three tiers. I explained the lower one. The middle one is the 128 gigs of storage with eight gigs of RAM, and it has an i5 processor. And the mid one also introduces a fingerprint scanner for authentication. So that's a great feature to have. That one comes in at $700, so $699. So uh, there's 549, 699, and then uh, 899. So the most expensive one, without a discount is $900, which isn't worth it. $900 is quite a lot, and you can get just so many better laptops for that price, especially in the Windows uh, sphere. So let me go ahead and open this up. The bottom is a plastic, but it is definitely a very high quality plastic. There's a rubber padding all through the bottom here, which is fantastic. And let me go ahead and move this off. So. Uh, the plastic covering goes, continues to the inside. So let me lift up the lid. And you guys, as you can see, the, the display also has this and it comes right off and the computer is booting right up. So uh, as you guys can see, it's the boot logo is showing up there. Pretty cool. Um, metal, metal build on the top, metal build up um, here on the uh, deck. I'm sorry, the... Um, the front of the laptop, which you call behind the display. The top of the laptop has this, the um, the inside, the top case here. This has a uh, metal build as well. It's got a pretty decently sized trackpad. I'm very impressed by that. 
you know, trackpads are kind of ignored sometimes, especially in the budget Windows laptop game. But uh, this one seems to be a very nice size. And um, looking at the display, this is a 12 point something inch display. So it's not exactly 13, but it's not 12 either. So it's a middle ground there. But I think that this is a really cool size. Uh, so, okay, let me set this up. Uh, this is, oh, there you guys can see the fingerprint scanner right there. It's Hi integrated there. with the power I'm button. Cortana, and I'm here to help. All right, Cortana. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. All right, so... Uh, Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone. All right, so Cortana is going to probably walk me through this. So let me set this up and then come back to you guys with uh, a better idea of uh, what this machine is like and what I think about it. All right, so as I was going through the sign-in process, we've come to the fingerprint uh, part of the setup and I didn't want to skip over that. So uh, let me show you guys what it's like. So it uh, gives me the screen and it says setup. So the fingerprint uh, sensor is right here integrated within the power button. So I'm gonna zoom in on that for you guys so you guys can have a better look at it. You guys can see it looks slightly different from the other keys, but uh, it is pretty cool. So there we go. It actually lights up. That's interesting. I did not know that. So repeatedly touch the power button, lift so it says, touch the power button, repeatedly lift and rest your finger on the power button until setup is complete. So touch the sensor again. Okay, let's keep going. Cool, now try another angle, okay. So just gonna try to get a couple of angles in there. So it's definitely not the fastest at registering. Cool. All right, done. Now set up a pin. Um, let's see. I don't want a pin. Can I skip over this? Okay, so you need to set up a pin to use face or fingerprint recognition. I did not know that. Man, the setup process on this is way longer than I remember it used to be. Um, okay. So I haven't set up a Windows laptop in a hot minute, so this is, I didn't remember it being this long and complicated, but all right. I don't want Cortana. Is it Cortana or Cortana? I don't know. I call them both. It really is, I have no idea what exactly it is. Is it Cortana, Cortana? Is it completely something else? Who knows? Hi, hello. Man, the display looks fantastic. Like the blacks are incredible. Um, it really looks um, fantastic, like almost AMOLED level deep. And I'm sitting in a bright uh, environment here, so maybe that's skewing my uh, result a little bit, but it looks fantastic. This display looks great. I, I know that um, there's a few things here that this laptop could do better, but you know, I think the display is a fantastic uh, panel. And one thing really just looking at this is build quality is fantastic. This is um apple level almost you know this all feels very premium very great i this will definitely wear super well um it just you know it feels like there's no flex at all with the um with the display it's just um no creaking nothing you know just fantastic that's awesome so what i'm going to do is set this up now finish that up uh, come back to you guys and give you my initial impressions on what I'm thinking about this laptop so far. All right, so I spent the last couple of hours using this computer, getting to know it, setting it up, and just messing around with it. And let me start off and talk about the build quality. So this is a fantastic build, and I just, I, the more I look at it and the more I feel it, I am just more and more falling in love with it. It is a great Great design, very simple, very neat, great materials. It's got this uh, uh, silver finish on the top. This is called the Platinum. Uh, the color is called Platinum, but really it's not dark, it's, it's silver. And uh, the bottom is white, uh, a grayish white, but definitely white. And um, it, it looks fantastic. The bottom does have this fantastic um, anti-skid uh, rubber here, which will be great. And um, the bottom is plastic, it is not metal, but I will tell you this, it's a fantastic feeling plastic. It is not like some of the cheap plastic that you find in some of the 
more um, lower end Windows laptops. And by the way, the uh, rubber legs are fantastic. Just look, I'm gonna try to push the uh, computer. It won't budge. Like it, it really takes a decent amount to get this to move. Like it is a very good grip. So you don't have to worry about using this on a table, it moving around. And the, the benefit is since it's a long strip, like those, uh, unlike the tiny little pegs, this won't be coming off. That's just a fantastic, fantastic thing. So uh, outside is metal, uh, the top case is metal, and then the keyboard, uh, this layer here is metal as well. And as I showed you before, absolutely no flex whatsoever. You can twist it around, it doesn't uh, bend at all. Uh, the bottom as well, very rigid, um, no creaking. I can press this all I want. There's no creaks or croaks, um, very, very solid finish. Now, uh, let's move on and talk about the I.O. So I.O. is limited. You have uh, a USB-C and a USB-A on the left side and a headphone jack. And on the other side, there is the Windows Smart Connector. And that's about it. There's really not much else uh, anywhere on this laptop. So you're very limited with your options. But um, this is very standard for a Surface device. They don't give you too many options. The one thing that is missing that, are, that were present in other Surface devices of past is an SD card reader. And that's gonna be missed, but at this point, really, uh, ports are becoming limited, and I really can't um, single this out because a lot of other companies are doing the same thing. And on the topic of the uh, connectors and I.O., this right here, the Windows uh, Smart Connector, is actually for charging the computer, and it has a magnetic uh, charger here where you can, if you bring it close, it will attach itself. Now, it's not like the strongest attaching cable. Like, it, it you have to do guide it very close and it'll gently sit in like it's not a powerful click in but it does get there and it is very convenient and I honestly uh, the great thing about this is even if you're if you accidentally pull on this cord it comes off without uh, pulling the computer with it um, Apple used to do this and I really miss it they've moved away from it but uh, luckily Windows uh, Microsoft has uh, clearly realize this is a fantastic uh, addition to have. So you can charge with USB-C as well. You're not uh, locked out of that. You, so if you want to just charge with USB-C, that's absolutely fine. But there is an option to use this as well. And they do include this charger in the box. So that's a, that's a good addition there. This is a 39 watt charger, as it says right on the brick there. So uh, not the highest powered, but for a device this size, I think 39 watts will do just so with that covered, let's look at the next thing that uh, it's a big selling point for this. It is the fingerprint scanner. So right off the bat, you guys saw it booted up almost instantly. That's one of the best things about this computer. Uh, I'll show you one more time. I can close the lid. It's turned off. And as I open it, it'll already be up by the time I uh, get the screen all the way open. Fantastic. And you guys can see a light right here. This is right around the power button. And this is the fingerprint scanner. And watch this, I'll just tap it and it'll unlock. One, two, boom, like that's all it took. It's fantastic um, how just fa uh, quick this entire uh, system is. The, the fingerprint scanner really surprised me and I'll give you guys another demo here really quick. Uh, I will press the power button, it shuts off immediately so that's a great addition again. And I'll tap the power button uh, and what I'll do is actually I'll click this so it turns on so the computer is on now from sleep just one tap one two literally that was like the fastest so this is a extremely extremely fast fingerprint scanner and i am very happy with it and just to show you guys it's not a bad fingerprint scanner or something weird uh, i will try to unlock it with my uh, middle finger and you guys will be able to see that it doesn't allow it so your fingerprint could not be recognized try using a different finger I use this one and boom, unlock. So, uh, fantastic. I really, really love that. Moving on, let's talk about the keyboard and the trackpad. So the keyboard is pretty good. Now, I am not used to the level of travel this has. I've been using butterfly keyboards for the last couple of years from Apple. Those aren't the greatest keyboards um, and they have a little bit less travel than these do, but they have a more tactile feel than these. Um, this definitely feels a little bit soft, but I think that these are great keys. Uh, compared to a lot of other Windows laptops I've used, this is a fantastic keyboard. And honestly, uh, a couple of days and I'm 100% sure I will get used to these and fall in love. Uh, the keys have a decent amount of travel, as I said. Unfortunately, no backlight keyboard. 
Uh, that was something I was very upset to learn. I, I really hoped that this would have backlight keyboard given the price it's at now and uh, given that a lot of its competition does come with it. The uh, Their older brother, the Surface Laptop 3, does come with a backlight keyboard and the Surface Go, the tablet version that has the keyboard accessory, that has a backlight keyboard too. So it was weird for me to see that uh, though, you know, even the, the more lower version of this and the higher version of this both have backlit keyboards, but this one in the middle, uh, it kind of cuts that out. Moving on, the trackpad. Trackpad is a very decent size. I am kind of spoiled with the much larger trackpads from Apple in the last couple of years. Windows laptop trackpads have improved, and this one especially has been uh, really nice to use. No issues whatsoever. Uh, uh, Multi-touch scrolling and everything is absolutely smooth. No worries whatsoever. Uh, it does have, uh, you know, a decent amount of click to it. I do wish that the clicks went in all the way to the end. So about three fourths is the kind of limit on the, the clickiness. Once you get to the top, it doesn't click, uh, which is a little bit weird, but okay, not the end of the world there in any way. So let's move on and talk about this display. So this is uh, a 1500 by 12 something display. So not entirely 1080p, but I was surprised actually at how good this display looks. It is surprisingly sharp for its lower resolution. Um, it is a 12 inch, 12 point something inch display. So it's not a very massive display. So it doesn't need a lot of resolution to look sharp, but uh, this laptop remains very, very sharp. Like looking at videos, watching even higher resolution 1080p, 1440p videos, they look super sharp. Like I was, I was finding it very hard to find anything really wrong with the display. I will say brightness is modest. It's not bad, but it's not really that great. So direct sunlight, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. One more thing that I did notice was that the auto brightness kind of does its own thing. It, it gets uh, crazy. Like right now I'm doing nothing and it's kind of popping down, going up. It's a little bit weird. This does have a touchscreen as well. Touchscreen is very fluid, uh, works very well. And of course, as I tell you guys, it doesn't work, but trust me, uh, it does a good job of uh, moving things around, scrolling, uh, touching. It's not bad. Like I can move it around. You guys can see that. Pretty awesome uh, response there. Definitely worth, I mean, at this price point, it definitely doesn't disappoint. It just uh, gets the thing done. So it definitely, if you were, if you're someone who uses a lot of touch on your computer, um, it, it does work well. Now, personally, I don't. So I really won't be utilizing this feature as much, but you guys can see if you're somebody who will buy this to use on a touchscreen basis, it is something that you will like. And let me move on and show you guys the front camera quality. Uh, there is a camera app on here. So let me just boot My that apologies. up. So let me just, uh, so here's the camera app. And what I'll do is I'll take a quick video for you guys. So this is the uh, video and audio right out of the uh, Surface Go laptop and um, this is almost perfect lighting like this is studio lighting from both sides So you're, you're not gonna see any shadows anything um, and this is the best uh, Like the conditions here are perfect. So this is kind of the best video you can expect from this uh, Camera, so I don't know what it's gonna look like when I get it uh, into a editor But so far on here it's looking okay, but the details aren't the greatest. This is a 720p camera But I will say that the camera and everything on the display itself is very tiny. So um, Looks wise it looks great, but it is quite small So I'm not having a lot of expectations for it, but it may be what it is So uh, that's what the audio and video sound like on the surface laptop go and that was the video so uh, interesting quality there. Uh, I'm not sure how it'll look, as I said before, but uh, you guys will have a better idea and uh, let me know what you thought about that down in the comments below. Moving on, let's talk about the speakers. So the speakers uh, on this are average. There are two speakers, one on the left and one on the right side, but they are under the keyboard. So you can clearly tell they're a little bit muffled because, you know, of course, there's an entire keyboard to go through. I really wish they would have integrated it a little bit better or to the side or towards the top here, somewhere where uh, the audio didn't sound so muffled. It doesn't get as loud as you'd want it to, but at the same time, it's not bad at all. It's very mediocre, but that's not the worst thing. You know, it's not, the thing is, I can't say anything bad about it. I just can't say anything good about it. So it's definitely just kind of that in that limbo. And finally, let me talk about battery life. So battery life has been 
Um, so far, not the greatest. So I started off with about somewhere in the 50% range and it actually fell down to 19% in the about, I'd say three and a half hours that I have used it. And this has been very light usage, just downloading Firefox, uh, listening to a couple of videos on YouTube and um, downloading OneNote, typing up a couple of paragraphs on that. Nothing strenuous at all. Uh, but of course it went down from uh, 50 something to 19% and then I topped it up a little bit because I was filming this video I don't want it to completely die out on me. So uh, right now sitting at 26% I did move this performance meter on a, a little bit before it was kind of in the on the towards the left towards conservative and I moved it uh, to absolute best performance but then I moved it back when I realized how quickly it was draining the battery. So um, it's definitely going to be a little bit of a experience to learn the ins and outs of this computer. I'm very excited to give it a chance and just to see how it fares in the next couple of weeks. I will definitely be doing a more thorough review with my uh, experience with the battery life, with uh, general usage and how things are stacking up uh, as the time goes on. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about the uh, Surface Laptop Go, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen and of course down in the description as well. If you wanna check this laptop out, I will link it in the description down below so you can go over and check out the specs, design and all that stuff. Uh, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. I would really appreciate a subscribe and check out some of the other videos I've made so far. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.